There are rumors that charging of iPhone 15 is limited to 35 watts. Let me give you a spoiler straight away. That's not true. I have tested all of that and in this video I want to show you which charger can fill up the iPhone battery the fastest. I have quite a few chargers, starting from the smallest 5 watts charger, going to the biggest MacBook Pro charger of 96 watts. Here on the side you will see a list of all of the chargers I'll be using for this test. The iPhone was always starting at 30%, and charging all the way for one hour. I only checked it every 15 minutes to see the progression, so we have more data to compare. At the end I have also plugged the cable right into my Mac that I can see how fast you can charge it through the other device. But now let's start. First of all I want to get rid of the obvious result. That's the 5 watts charger. It is really too little to efficiently charge the new iPhones, so I don't really recommend using that. If you don't have any option, then 34% is still better than nothing. I have also tested this small charger on the MacBook. If you want to see how it performed there, then click on this video. But now let's jump to the other extreme and try the biggest charger on the iPhone. 96 watts MacBook charger. As expected it was way faster and it got nearly the same percentage as the previous charger, but in just 15 minutes. And similar results were achieved with the other MacBook charger of 61 watts and my favorite double USB-C 35 watts power adapter. That one was not behind at all. Actually, just 1% shy of the largest MacBook charger, which is triple in size. And possibly it could be one extra notification or different room temperature, which influenced the final percentage. Basically, all these three chargers were equal in speed and the final charge. But now comes the main question. How can the original iPhone 20 watt charger catch up with that? Well, in my case it's not even 20. It's the older 18 watts iPad charger. But let's look at the numbers. Surprisingly, I got the best results with the smallest charger. I don't know if it's a positive or negative result. On one side, it's really good information, so you know you don't need to carry this large charger to fast charge your iPhone. But on the other side, it's also confirming that Apple is really limiting the charging speed. And it's not 35 watts as rumored. It's actually going down to 20 watts. So is this the go-to charger, which I would always take with me? Probably not, because I'm carrying my MacBook as well. So I would take the other charge, which I recommended in the other video to sufficiently charge all of my devices. But if you really have only iPhone, that 20 watts is all what you need. By the way, I've also tested charging through the Mac, as I said in the beginning. I sometimes use it as my power bank for an iPhone. It has very large battery, so it can prolong my iPhone use as well. But how fast can it charge? Looking at the result, it's not as fast as charging with other plugs, but in one hour, it is nearly the same percentage as other charges. Which means using MacBook is quite a good alternative to charge your iPhone. I have put a lot of time and effort into making this test and making this video. Mainly because I was also excited about these results. But if you also find it useful, you are just one click away from making my day better. Just by clicking on the like or subscribe button. I appreciate every one of you who is joining the channel. Anyway, if you have a Mac, I recommend you to check the test for the MacBook charges. And in the meantime, I'll work on another video, so I hope to see you there as well.